taking a cinema class this year and I have to read, what is it, like 60 pages and summarize it in two pages and have an opinion on the author's argument. It is only worth 10%, so it doesn't make sense to dedicate so much time to it, but it will give me a good idea for how tough the marking is in this class. You just never know. Is it marked like an English course? Because those are quite um, difficultly. That's not a word at all. They are marked a little bit harder than like a, a Rotman report in, in terms of the style of writing. But then last year I took a music class, the Beatles course, wrote three essays, two essays for that class, and they marked, I think, I personally thought pretty fair. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's what this situation's going to be. If it's not, I will be very sad. <laughs> gotten one page out of two done since I last checked in and now I have to head to class and to be honest I don't really feel like going because it is so gross outside there's so much snow so much snow that Andre and I made snowmen on our balcony Make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, it's 9.33. I'm ready for the day. Did yoga, ate breakfast. Now I've got about 20 minutes before my next class. So I'm actually just going to review an assignment. The assignment that's due today. <laughs> but I'm going to review this, print it, and then time to head out. Thursday. It's been a little bit of a late start to the day. Um, wearing the blazer so that things feel like I've got I've, like I've got things under control. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just actually launched on Instagram the um, the Love 28. Like I did a little spiel about the Love 28 thing that I'm doing in February, which I talked about in Plan with Me. Writing down something every day in February that I love about myself. So that's gonna be fun. But what's the plan for today? Well, I have a class later on in the day. And I have work to do to prepare for that class. So my life is branding today. Something I had shown on Instagram the other day uh, is I got the this this tarot card by Kim Grant Kranz uh, of the Wild Unknown is what this is called. So I have never used tarot cards before. This is my first tarot deck. But for some reason, like I've been feeling compelled to get a tarot deck. I don't know what it is, just something like has piqued my interest about it. So I feel like that was a signal that it was worth getting because something was telling me to get it. So here we go. Comes with the guidebook and the cards are just so beautiful. I don't know much about tarot cards. I'm very much a beginner. I have a lot of research to do on like how to like properly use them and um, also work on 
being able to interpret the cards. No, I'm excited about it. It's fun. Like, I have a lot of fun exploring different things. I'm very open to meditation and yoga and five-minute journals and things that make me pause and, and just try and reveal like what's really happening in my brain because often I feel like we hide a lot of things and if you're able to like peel back the layers like an onion then you can spark some real change some real insights onto how you work how you function as a human being and this just seems like another way of doing that I thought I'd share those if you have any tarot card tips uh, for beginners, please let me know. I was actually really surprised by how many comments I got on my Instagram post about people who have tarot cards of their own or experiences with um, tarot. Is it tarot? Tarot cards? Tarot? Why do I keep calling it tarot? It's tarot, right? Like I said, I'm a beginner. Just finished putting together an Instagram post that went live on my Instagram page. This is how I usually take my photos with two white boards that I got from Dollarama. And there you go. Super high-tech, state-of-the-art studio. No way! On Netflix? I haven't seen it. Oh, okay, we're watching that later. Are we watching that tonight? Yes. Oh, cute. <laughs> Okay, forgot about Edna. Nice. <laughs> you better hope I don't zoom in on that in post. Oh god. <laughs> oh, my favorite part of any movie. bit of a slow start to my Saturday morning. I had a really awful night's sleep that wonderful time of the month so uh, all day I've just been dealing with extreme pain but I'm feeling better. I realize I'm no hero and I took medication and life is good again. I was planning on filming a video this afternoon. I think I'm just gonna make tomorrow a complete filming day and today oh that's the McDonald's I ordered this morning because uh, I needed some fatty foods. <laughs> I'm going to work on school stuff because I have a lot to get done, but some things in particular for Monday that need to get completed. And then, yeah, I should be, I should be good to go for tomorrow. So can I just say that if it weren't for the existence of hot water bottles, I would be a mess today. If you are a female and you don't possess one of these in your life, I assure you it is a good, this is a good thing to have around. Yesterday was such a chill day and now I feel like I need another chill day, but can't have, can't have every day chilly. Unless you live in Canada, which every day has been very chilly. What are, what's, what's going on here? Just going a little crazy, but don't mind me. I'm back in the kitchen. Coffee is a boiling. I had such a good night with uh, the master last night. As far as school stuff goes, I'm just catching up on notes today. 
I also have to work on an assignment that um, I have a group meeting for tomorrow. So it's not like an actual deadline, but it's kind of like a deadline that we all set for ourselves. So I have to have my part of it done. We're actually doing a project on the Hudson's, Hudson's Bay Company. We're assessing the state of the brand, the, the brand equity, um, seeing how strong it is, where it, or if it has any areas for improvement. Honestly, one of my favorite purchases from the Disney store. This is a mug that my friend Nadine got me from Peru. We wanted like the perfect, most perfect hot chocolate mugs. Just, ugh, ugh. And this is a mug from David's Tea. Super cute as well. I could do a whole video on mug hauls. And this one right here is one I actually got in Starbucks at, in Portugal. This one's from Porto. I have a Lisboa one as well. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. I think that's all the mugs I have to show you today. Once again, I am doing notes and I'm actually doing notes from my textbook onto the slides that my professor posted. So that saves me a lot of time because I don't have to like, write out everything myself. There are some things that are already there and I just add extra notes if I need them. And then sometimes I'll even add a page to add some extra definitions if I feel like the slides don't give me enough of a clue that there's more that I need to review. The test, the midterm, I guess, for this uh, uh, class is very memorization based. So, unfortunately, I have to know a lot of definitions. 